That sounds good. This is my spot. Yeah, at least you get a... So this is my new album. It's called Night Ripper. On the inside of the album, I kind of thanked all of the artists that I sample. That was part of the fun of the album for people to kind of hunt down how many samples they could. And looking through here and even recognizing artist names that they don't recognize on there and trying to pinpoint it. I feel like I did my own work, but I absolutely, you know, owe them all a little credit because they're blatantly on the album and I have a lot of respect for all of their music. <laughs> This is the typical setup I use live where, you know, just hours and hours of cutting, trial and error, and then, you know, once I'm actually playing stuff I've already worked out, these are kind of songs in my head. Where so this is kind of just, you know, a simple drum beat that's really familiar. I'm going to put a cameo drum beat over top of this. So there's two drum beats playing right now. It just came to me one day, just kind of like as an art project I was going to try and challenge myself to do. Um, I had always kind of mixed up different genres of music and everything, and I just hadn't, I hadn't done this particular thing yet, but it just kind of came to me. And I thought, well, maybe I can do it, and it took a few weeks and just did it. And then, you know, after it took off from there, it just kind of got out of hand. It got kind of crazy. Okay, uh, I'm Dan Glickman. I'm the chairman and CEO of the Motion Picture Association of America. Uh, we represent the six largest motion picture companies. I would not say I'm the boss of Hollywood. Uh, and in fact, if I said that, I probably wouldn't have the job very long. I happen to represent them in Washington and countries worldwide as we try to deal with the issues that we're concerned about. In the U.S. Constitution, there is, which was adopted over 200 years ago, there's only one substantive area of law, and that was protecting creators' rights.